I hop off the desk and I say, I'm back to this bitch right here. I say, bitch, you, you triggering my motherfucking bipolar. Y'all, I literally hopped over the, I hopped over the counter to get some lemon. Oh, I look back, y'all, the police is fucking surrounding me. They got police surrounding me. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kia. Hold on. I had something propped up. Okay. Hold on. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kia Alani. If you are new, and if you are not new, welcome back to my channel. So, y'all, we are back with another story time. So, um, if you have just like this video, please consider like, comment, and subscribing. Telling a friend to tell a friend to your grandma. To tell your granddad and just tell the whole family, y'all. So we are back with a story time. As you can see, I do not have a drink with me. Um, technically, I have drinks around me, but I, I, I'm, I decided not to drink in this video. Actually, moving forward, I'm not about to drink as often as I was. Moving forward, actually, I only want to drink wine. Because drinking is the reason that I'm about to tell the story. Drinking got me into some shit. And this was real recent. Today is October 19th. This happened October 18th. This video might get posted October 20th or 21st. So yeah, um, we're going to do some life changes moving forward. Um, but let's, let's talk about it. So also, disclaimer. This is one of them videos I am not proud of. I'm really not proud of. Now, in this video, um, it's some crazy shit that I did. And part of it was granted. But part of it is like, I'm too damn old to act like this. And part of it was the fucking liquor fault. So, let's talk about it. So, um, if you are not new here, you know I started a job a few months ago. So actually, this job has been reaching out to me for about seven, eight months now. I applied and uh, I was taking care of my stepdad and it was moments where I thought they were going to like hire him an actual home care provider to go back so I can go to work. And to make a long story short, I applied for the job and the manager was reaching out to me for months at a time. Like every month or every two months, she would reach out to me asking if I'm available to work. So I stopped receiving unemployment benefits in June. So I knew I had to go back to work. So I let my mom and them know like, hey, y'all gotta find somebody to watch my stepdad. I know somebody gonna be like, oh, you know, you could've just got, got hired by the state. When I say we've been trying to get me hired to get paid to watch my stepdaddy for so long. I, I don't, every, I, I, I don't know what took so long. It's been, it's literally been such a fucking long process for me. So, yeah, my mom and them got the handle, found what found somebody, whatever. So, originally, I had got hired at Starbucks. I got hired at Starbucks. I got hired at Starbucks, right? Um, The, the biggest Starbucks, if you're in Chicago, if you know, you know, the big Starbucks from downtown, the biggest one, actually, if I ain't mistaken, it's the biggest one in the United States. The largest Starbucks in the United States. Starbucks Reserve, Roastery, whatever the shit called. I got hired there, right? I got hired there. They paid good. They paid really good, actually. Um, really good. Um, that's what I'm saying. Y'all y'all need to... Y'all be sleeping. Y'all be sleeping on some of these jobs. Well, y'all... I feel like a lot of people sometimes make people feel bad about, like... Uh, you know, I was just watching Rudy Nicole video. I love her. Oh, I love her. I was just watching one of her videos... And she was saying how she was at a dinner party, her friend dinner party, and I guess the ladies at the party was asking everybody what they do. And when she said, I make cakes or I'm a baker, they kind of, it, it, they tried to like look girl her huh? as if like it was something so wrong with that. And people kill me with that because you just don't, just because what I'm doing ain't what you're doing, it don't mean I'm not bringing in some money. So, well, yeah, Starbucks, they really was paying me good. So, um, but I quit. I was at Starbucks for like four days. If that, I'm lying. Four days, I'm fucking lying. I was at Starbucks not even two days. Um, I went to organization. 
And then I went on my first day of work. At to work in the morning when I got there, I'm like, okay, I'm looking for the person who I'm supposed to be training with. It so happened that when I worked, I, I so happened that a, a, a girl I know worked there and she like, oh, I can show you who that person is. And then to make a long story short, they fucked up my schedule. So I came in that morning, even though I wasn't supposed to come into the afternoon. And at that point, I already had my babysitter sets arranged. And it's not even about the babysitter because y'all know I always have a babysitter. I knew on these specific days I was going to spend time with my baby. But now I'm being told I can't because y'all fucked up my schedule. So I was at Starbucks. Uh, I was there for like two, three hours. I told them I was going to the bathroom. It was just too much. That Starbucks, this is off subject. But that Starbucks is the biggest one in the world. Well, at least in the United States. It's too fucking big, y'all. They took. It was taking them an hour to show us all the fucking souvenirs we had to sell to the people. It was too much. I told them I was going to the bathroom. And I went to go get my shit. I never went back. So the same day I had text. So the the other the job I the job the job let's um hmm, let's, let's call it the job. I don't know. Um, I, I'm gonna say it's an advertising firm because that's really what it is. It's an advertising firm, right? So um, I I remember that this lady from this advertising firm has been texting me for months now trying to get me to work and I could never work. So I reached out to her. I'm like, hey, are you, I'm like, I'm available now. Are you still looking for work? Like I would love to work or be interviewed. Like just keep me updated. So let's call this lady Diamond. <laughs> Ooh, Diamond is such a bad name for her. We're gonna call her Diamond. So me and Diamond talk to Diamond, called me that day. She said she can get back in contact with me but that day. Diamond told me I had the job that she cleared through her boss. And I was set to start work July 5th. So on my first um, day of the job, I come in, Diamond comes to get me and she brings me upstairs. And y'all, I just hear a whole bunch of, bitch this, hoe this, got me fucked up this, blah, blah, blah. I hear a whole bunch of like, bitches are going off, like talking really loud. But then when I'm looking at them, so one of the girls talks to me, she hello and I'm hi. Let's call this girl, um, oh, um, let's call her, I don't know, I'm so bad with names. Okay, so let's call her Lemon. I don't know, we'll call her Lemon. So, I come, so Lemon and this other girl is just talking, and I thought they was arguing, but then I realized that's just how they talk to each other. So let me say, hi, I'm Lemon. I'm like, hi, I'm Nakia. And the other girl is just still going off, but Lemon still like talking real loud, cursing the shit out loud. And I'm thinking to myself, ain't you the manager? You ain't gonna say nothing to them? Like, it, they were so fucking loud. They were so loud and just cursing loud as fuck. And then um, me and Dan, we had walked out. We had walked out. Man, this is another coffee shop job. To be specific, it was another coffee shop job. So, me and Diamond had walked out to another part of the building. And she said, oh, yeah, just ignore them. Those are the sisters. So, the girl that Di the girl that Lemon was talking to, who, you know, who, they was, yeah, I thought they was arguing. They wasn't. That's just how they talk. Um, They were sisters. So, Lemon is the sister who I originally spoke with, right? So, um, yeah, my um, Diamond takes me to another part of the um, building. I'm filling out my paperwork or whatever. Everything cool, right? So then, like, later on that day, no, 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 no. And then, no, I was filling out paperwork. And then Diamond asked me um, if I want to go out there and help them, help help the girls or anything. So, um, so I go out there, I'm helping them, whatever. So, no, what, what I was saying, so all, like, literally... Um, it's, it's no, like, you don't have to ring anything up. They get everything for free. So, they get all their, their drinks for free, all their snacks for free. They get everything for free. So, literally, you, they come up to you, tell you what they want, and you make, you make it real fucking easy, real nice and simple, real easy process. So, we knock the line down, whatever. My manager's gone, so, well, uh, and Lemon is gone. So, now it's just me and Lemon's sister. So, mind you, I didn't even really get introduced to Lemon's sister at first when I first came in. I just saw her going off. So, she's sitting down in the chair and she like, um, how you liking it so far? And she's smiling. And I'm looking at her like, oh, she's like a little older lady. Like, she didn't look old as hell, but she looked a lot older. 
Same thing with as lemon. So I'm like, it's good so far. So she like my name is Strawberry. We're gonna just say she's Strawberry. So me and Strawberry talking, and um, it was cool. It was cool. The next day, another one of my coworkers came in, and I met her, and I recognized. Her. I was looking at her, but I didn't want to be no weird bitch, and I couldn't help it no more. I say, "Is your name such and such on Facebook?" And she yeah. I'm like, I don't want to be no weird bitch, but I like the girl who do your hair. I've been wanting her to do my hair for years, and I always see you as a model. And she's like, we talking. She, oh, girl, she didn't even do my hair no more. And she moved all the way far. And I'm like, girl, I know, because the one time I did book with her at the last minute, she changed my appointment. Asked, Can I come out to the suburbs? But my that Uber was too high, so we just talking, right? So to make a long story short, I, I instantly felt right. I felt right in with the ladies. Like, it was no... We in my manager. I felt right in. It was nothing crazy. Like it was. This was the, the most laid back job I've ever been at. When I say these bitches cursed, these bitches tell my manager what she, what they gonna do, what they not gonna do. These bitches talk about getting that kitty cat ate all day. This is the most laid back job I've ever been at. But these bitches do work for the most part. And when I first started this job, Diamond did tell me she's like, I can only offer you. 15 hours a week, and when stuff come available, I can get that to you. But as of now, I'm going to give you 15 hours a week. I was so desperate, I, I took it. I took it, right? Checks were little as hell. <laughs> y'all, tell y'all. Checks, like, actually, crazy part. So, we're going to get, so, she told me that, and I'm like, okay, cool. Man, y'all, when I, so when I got there, I had another coworker who allegedly, who was a part-timer like me, but I never met her before. So... I never met this girl before, but all the other girls, they like, yeah, she don't even come to work. How the fuck she knew? And she already requesting. Y'all pay attention to this. They, how was she new? And she already requesting weeks off at a time. And damn, I don't know what the fuck she be doing. Her ass is slow. She's slow ass manager. And let's talk, you know, we're not going to read the other girl's name, the, the other um, part-timer. We're going to call her part-timer. So there's like, yeah, part-timer barely be here. And how the fuck she come? She just come in, and this bitch don't do nothing when she is here. Like they just talking about part time or whatever. So that first week I started, I think I only worked like the fifteen hours a week. The next week though, I worked like 30, 35, 36 hours that week. And then the next week after that, my manager wanted me to work my regular fifteen hours a week. I guess because part time was coming back. So I remember I was talking to lemon and i'm like i don't think i'll come back up in here next week because um i'm like yeah she did like she was up front and told me that i was only be working 15 hours a week i said but realistically this ain't no fucking money like i said this shit ain't nothing it's my phone bill money i said i can go out and sell coochie and make my money to this i'm just i'm, I'm just saying i mean personally i don't sell coochie but i don't knock the bitches that do because sometimes you gotta get it how you live i don't knock the bitches that do just put, put, put a nice little penny on your shit so imagine lemon has been there more than anybody including my manager so let me say now nah. let me say mm -mm, we need you here you're a good worker we'd rather have you here than part-time that and um basically they said that how i come in i fed right in with them i'll be talking to them part-time but she don't even talk to their ass so yeah she said don't worry you're gonna get your hours i'm, I'm gonna talk to um damn it so, uh, to make a long story short, uh, I was, like, really getting more than 15 hours for the most part. For the most part, I was, right? And then, eventually, it just got to a point where, no, and then when part-time, I would come to work, y'all. Okay, so, um, Strawberry. Y'all, Strawberry and Lemon are sisters, right? Strawberry is the big sister. Lemon is the younger sister. Um, strawberry is very straightforward. Strawberry talks her shit. Strawberry just she she a straight shooter, and you have a level you hate her, right? So all of them used to make comments about how part time, like y'all, when she did, will come to work, y'all. She would just sit there. She would sit there. We'll be busy. She would not help us. They used to talk about y'all. It got so bad to the point the customer used to call her stand and stare. They was like, hey, stand and stare. They be like, she don't do shit. And I remember one day, I think um, Strawberry was already mad about something. No, and then that was another thing that was mad at Diamond because they like, 
you wait until we get busy to see how this bitch go out and go do something. So yeah. Bye. And then y'all, strawberry, I mean not strawberry. So Diamond and part-timer sister are friends. So that's how, or, or, or Diamond knew part-timer mama. So that's how Diamond, that's how part-timer even started working. Else. It was like as a favor for Diamond. So everybody felt some type of way about that because they felt like that's why she won't call her on her bullshit. I remember one day we was just, uh, I think Strawberry was mad about something already. And Diamond had told part-timers to go outside out, go outside and sweep the floor or something like that. And I remember Strawberry going off like, what the fuck you telling her to do that for? Like, we don't got fucking janitors. You, you don't use your fucking brain. She ain't no fucking janitor. She need to come back and help us. But yeah, so eventually, part-timer, she quits, right? She quits. Um, apparently... I was only working, what was I, I think I was only working Mondays and Fridays, for, I don't remember, but apparently part-time was going back to school and she needed to adjust her hours and Diamond didn't want to adjust her hours because it just didn't make sense. It, it just didn't make sense. Um, part-time already wasn't doing shit. Diamond didn't want to adjust her hours, so part-time would quit and Diamond ended up giving me part-time hours. I was working 32 hours a week, right? But I come to work one day. And Diamond talking to me, and she like, basically, to make a long story short, me being a 32 would have considered me full-time. And they didn't want to be full-time benefits, so they started cutting my shifts 30, min 30 minutes a day, where it made me part-time. So technically, because I would still work on Fridays, I would still work work Fridays or whatever. So technically, I, I'm working put I'm working part-time, I mean, full-time hours, but I don't get no, full no full-time benefits. So, um, everything was like cool with the ladies. Um, I would just notice the ladies like say stuff about Diamond. And I just, I, that was, it's one thing to say stuff to somebody, but I didn't like how they treated Diamond. Um, I, and I feel like I talked about this before, but all the ladies are older than, me and Diamond are the youngest. So I'm older, I'm older than Diamond. And Diamond is younger than me. So Diamond's 24, I'm 26. And all the other ladies are in their 30s. And I feel like a lot of time when younger girls have authority or have a position, older women give them such a hard time. And that's how I felt. So I remember um, one day, this is after part-timer left. So I remember one day, um, mad you, uh, something part time used to always do was go like stop the fridge. They show like they had like juices, like beverages, like juices, beers, waters on, on all four fridges, right? So when she left, or even be even before she left, lemon, not lemon, strawberry started to do it herself because they got tired of her not doing shit. They was like, now nah, I'm gonna start doing the shit myself. This bitch ain't gonna have no choice but to fucking help us in the morning. So orig originally. It was part-timer job, but then Strawberry started to do it. And then eventually part-timer left and then Strawberry was just doing it, right? So one day Diamond said to my other coworker, the one who I said, you know, I be seeing on Facebook, she asked her to go do fridges. And she was like, no, nah, I don't want to do fridges. Like she kept asking her. So then I told y'all, Strawberry, her mouth, it's either you love her or you hate her. So Strawberry was like, I don't know why the fuck is you steady telling her to do it anyway. You know that I be doing it, but it's okay. Go ahead. Let her do it. But you know I be doing it anyway. But it's okay. You just want to do it because you don't want me to fucking do it. No, I'm sorry, y'all. Strawberry's in her 40s. So Lemon is in, Lemon and my other co-worker in her 30s. Strawberry was the oldest. She was in her 40s. And walk off. She said so, so harsh to Diamond. And... Diamond clearly felt some type of way. Like you could see it on her face. Diamond wanted to cry. Cause she brought us to me like three times. She said, I was just trying to help her. Like I was trying to give her a break. I just don't understand why she did all that. Like you could see how Diamond Phillips was really hurt, right? So not only did they not want to give me full-time benefits, if I would have got transitioned over to full-time, they would have to increase my pay. So yeah. So yeah, um, Back to Strawberry and Diamond. So that same day, it was something. I think I had texted Diamond after I got off work for some reason. I think I had issues with clocking in and out. And um, or it was something. And then I told her in the text message, and I'm uploading, I said, and again, I'm so sorry about earlier. And she said, what happened early? And I was like, just how Strawberry was talking to you. Like, I could just, I didn't like how she was talking to you. And I could just tell it really bothered you. And she texted me back, well, she texted me back, like, thank you. It's just so hard to deal with her sometimes, right? 
So, um, we're going to speed it up a little bit, Karen. We're going to speed it up. We're going to speed... Also, also, that day, Strawberry... That day, Strawberry had lit her ass up. Imagine, they, like, on a regular... And don't get me wrong, like, it's not like... They just always curse her out every day. But they have a lot of rebuttals. And they tell her what the fuck they are and are going to do a lot, right? Um... Also, but also that same day, Lemon had brought her daughter to work. Yeah, Lemon brought her daughter to work today, right? So pay attention to that, y'all. Lemon brought her daughter to work. I'm going to bring this back up in a second. Lemon brought her daughter to work. She had her daughter underneath the desk at work that whole day, but they knew she was there. She was only having her daughter, so the big boss wasn't going to sleep with Diamond, and everybody else knew her daughter was up. Keep that in mind. Let's speed it up a little bit. A little bit more recent so um my manager diamond recently just got married she was gone on vacation for two weeks right so while diamond was gone she gave us like a list of like basically she told us to go through lemon if we need help with something go through lemon and if lemon can solve it she's gonna go through our um she's gonna go, go through diamond's boss let's call his name thomas so thomas and lemon were our point of contacts basically do not contact diamond right okay, cool so um like like the first week the first week that diamond was gone it was something that happened with the time clock where we couldn't clock in and out for our lunch breaks we couldn't clock in and out period fuck the lunch break we couldn't, we couldn't clock into work out to work out for break none of that so we were told to fill out time sheets and send it over to Thomas. We were told to send it over to Thomas, right? So I unbeknownst to us, we think that Thomas have access to, and I don't I still don't understand how he don't have access. We think that Thomas has access to enter our time and shit. Now don't get me wrong, the very first day, that Wednesday. Um, I could tell that my time was entered in correctly because I get, I don't, if y'all familiar with daily pay, y'all know daily, you get an email about your daily pay when it hits every day. Um, you, your daily pay is 50% of whatever you made in that day. So say you made $200 in that day. You can cash out hundred dollars. You just pay like a little $3 fee, right? So I can tell that day my time was entered in, but for that Wednesday, for that Thursday and Friday, I never got an email. So um, that Monday, that Monday, that's when, um, no, 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 I, and then, no, yeah, by that Monday, I'm still, like, not getting no email, man, just me and one other girl who we never got our daily pay, so, by that Monday, I'm texting Thomas, no, by that Monday, Thomas comes to work, and he say that, um, oh, I thought that, he said, well, actually, I don't have access to y'all stuff. I had to send it to somebody else and I assumed that she put it in. I said, no, I never got an email about it. He said, okay, I'll follow up with her. So then later on that day, he said, okay, she said she going to do it today. So never got it for that Monday. So that Tuesday, I come in and I say, hey, Thomas, good morning. I say, I never got confirmation that my time was put in for that, put in yesterday either. So he kind of said it in like, a attitude way kind of like well if you want me to double check and make sure she put it in i'll check i'll double check but she said she put it in i said well maybe it's just gonna hit later on today if you said she put it in i guess she put it in right magic the girl ain't never got shit either so um that wednesday i coughed off work still and get put in by the time i come in that thursday the, me or the girl we still ain't got our stuff right so kind of find out the lady who up the lady in hr i mean payroll who Thomas was communicating with, who kept on saying she put our time in. The bitch never put our fucking time in, right? The bitch never put our time in. So, um, she, she finally put it in, right? She so 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 she she put in. How can I put it? So for that, th she finally put it. She put in all the other girl time in all at once for them two to like. The, so f how can I put it? So for me, she was missing two of my days. For the other girl, she's missing three of her days. But then eventually she put in all three of the girl days, but I was still old today. And then when I say something to Thomas the next day about it, I text Thomas and I'm, I'm going to upload the messages. I text Thomas like I never got it. And I call HR. At this point, I call HR myself. I mean, payroll myself or HR and I never got it, right? 
So he thought he was texting a girl. I'm going to just say her fucking name. I don't know the bitch. He thought he was texting Jessica. I guess Jessica is the girl in, H in payroll who he submitted the time to. And he was texting Jessica in Spanish, but didn't realize he was texting it to me. And he said something like, oh, um, Nakia, he, first of all, bitch, I'm a she, bitch. I pushed out a whole baby out of my vagina. I'm a she. Oh, uh, he said that he never got his uh, his daily pay, that you never did it. Using emojis and shit like a motherfucking lion. Bitch, I ain't lying. So then eventually when he realized he sent this to me, he said, oh, I'm sorry, I meant to send this to Jessica. And yes, she admitted that she didn't do it, but she's doing it now. So make a long story short, they fucked up my time, right? They fucked up my check. So my manager comes back to work that Monday. Diamond comes back to work that Monday. So Monday come, I stop at Whole Foods that day. I go pick up my manager a cake. I pick her up a cake and it said, congratulations, Diamond. And of course, Diamond's not her name, but the cake said, congratulations, Diamond, right? So I go to work. We, we celebrate Diamond, getting married, whatever, everything cool. The next day, um, imagine me and Strawberry, we, cl we are closers. So Diamond normally leaves at three. Diamond did leave for the day. She left for the day, but around 4.50, I saw Diamond back in the building as I was coming to the bathroom. So I'm like, oh, what Diamond have for? So I go into our um, little storage room. I go get me four bags of chips, right? So I go get the chips uh, and then I go and put them in my purse. So it's like the coat area is right here and Diamond desk is right here. So as I'm putting the chips, I just like a saw bag. So as I'm putting the chips in the bag, so you're going to hear them. So as I'm putting them in the bag, damn, it's like looking at me. And I say, like, what? Like, what? Is she dying, girl? How many you say? I said four. But it's something about that. It rubbed me the wrong way. I said, how many you thought I took? She, I'm just saying, that seemed like a lot. I say, four bags are just a lot. She, yeah, that seemed like a lot. She say, you know, my manager just don't like when. So... And this is a comment I've been hearing from all the girls from when I first started. They all be like, damn, damn this is not your shit with damn it. You do not bad this shit. You cannot tell people how much to take or nothing. Like, everybody been saying this. And it's not even like that they were trying to take stuff. But, like, how we supposed to keep, like, outside stock for, like, the employees. It be really, like, after we, we stock maybe two, three times a day. And damn, don't want us to touch them off of this. And they always talk about how when their other managers does, their other manager had to fully stock Especially lemon, I mean lemon, not lemon, diamond. No, strawberry. Especially strawberry. Strawberry. She be like, damn, this is not your shit. She's like, anytime somebody wants something, ain't nothing out there. I'm gonna personally take them to the back and let them pick up whatever they want. This is not your shit. She will always sell down this, right? So, I say, how is this a lie? No, she say, so my manager, um, my manager, and not Thomas, I want her other managers. She, my manager, don't even like when they take all extra snacks out there. So maybe we should be better examples. So I said, you know, I said, so what would have been the difference if you would have saw me eating these same four bags of chips on my lunch break? She managed They say we can get whatever we want up out of them. I said, so what would have been the difference? She, oh, you eat four bags of chips on your lunch break? I said, so you ain't never see me eat chips when I don't break normally. I bring my own lunch. I said, but on the days I don't bring my lunch, you ain't never see me eat chips. She, oh, if you said you was going to eat four bags of chips, then that's okay. I said, you know what? Let me put these chips back because I'm not going to lose my job over no, no, no chips. So I put the chips back. Back. She know you can take it. I said no, no, no. At this point, you didn't make me so uncomfortable. I don't even want the chips. I don't want them. So um um so yeah. So that happened. So whatever. So I me I finished out my last little ten minutes. Me and Strawberry Lee. Strawberry asked what happened. And Strawberry like that's the shit I'm talking about. She always worrying about somebody fucking else. Like everybody in this bitch don't take shit, including her. I say right, right. Man, y'all bitches take liquor. Bitches take Pepsi house. Bitches take. Um, plates, bitches take whatever. What's your name? My business. Cause I ain't gonna act like I ain't nothing bitches. I ain't never took no look at though. But so it really bothered me that whole day. Cause number one, bitch, as much shit around her, these hoes do that you don't never call them out on. Don't try to call me out like I'm a fucking thief. And number two, bitch, I just bought you a cake. I just bought you a cake. So don't make it seem like I'm broke. I'm so broke. I, I got to steal chips from bitch. I just pay for your fucking cake. So it really bothered me, y'all. So the next day I go to work. And I say, oh, no, 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 no. So that same day, as soon as I leave, right, I left and I get on Indeed. And I see that my job was hiring. And I said, hmm, interesting. So I thought it was posted the day before. Now, something I didn't tell y'all, Strawberry. And I know this story is so long, but y'all, it's going to get a little interesting, I promise. So the sisters, Strawberry and Lemon, 
they were finna um they were like they was really arguing with each other they had a bad argument it was real loud um while while diamond was on vacation it was really loud um they call, all the corporate people was called it was like a real bad you know argument they had or whatever so what was that one with that basically bitch it's sitting here that you should be talking to hoes about and you ain't addressed these hoes so don't trust me so when i got to work the next day no so no that's what i was saying so when i saw the indeed thing i just thought that we all just thought that they was trying to fight strawberry that's that's how i took it so when i get to work the next day i'm talking to my own diamond i say we good shit yeah we good i just saw something i didn't like so i had to bring it up so i said you know what's crazy though i said you know how you brought that up with me I say, but mind y'all, Diamond stays on the same block as our job. Keep that in mind. I say, you know how you brought that up about me taking the chips? I say, but do that rule apply to everybody? Because I did see you take your friends three coffees. Remember that? And she got and real quiet. I said, I'm just saying, if we if the rules apply to everybody, let's let, let's just talk about it. I said, I ain't like that. I said, I did see you. You left out here with three coffees for your friends. Remember that day? Bitch got quiet. She said, you're picking with me. I said, I'm not picking with you. I'm just saying, like, I did see it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a liar. So she said, moving forward, nobody would do it with me. You or nobody else. It's okay. So later on that day, I'm thinking we cool or whatever. Like, we kind of talking. Later on that day, she said, Nikiki on me. I see a vanilla, a, a, what you call it, a vanilla? A vanilla envelope? I see a big envelope. And I said, yeah, this bitch going to write me up. I'm thinking she's going to write me up for taking the chips or whatever. But I didn't even take the chips up and back. So when she um, write me up, and so when we get into the little room, she's like, I have to write you up for your attendance. And I'm like, huh? She said, yeah, you've been late all of these times. You called all three times. I have to write you Mind up. you, everyone be late, including her. And she lives on the sign block. Everyone be late. Everybody call off. Everybody be late way more than the fucking call off and late policy. Everybody should be fired if we going up that motherfucking policy. And considering how these hoes dog you, I would think me being late would be nothing. So I'm like, no, I've only called off twice. She called off three times. I said, no, I called off once and still shut up to work. So then she said, okay, I'm sorry. So basically, she said, um, you got two more times to be late or call out or you're going to get fired. So I said, we all know that y'all pay back for yesterday. She know it's not. No, it's not. And another thing, I would prefer not to for you to talk about your other job while you're here. I said, I can talk about what I want to talk about. I'm grown. I'm grown with a child. I say, do me talking about my other job affect my work? I said, I work correct. She, I said, so you cannot tell me any damn thing. I said, you cannot tell me anything about talking. I said, I'm going to say, I'm gonna say what I want to say. Don't listen. She, I prefer not to hear it. I said, well, I don't want to hear about your marriage, but you still talk. So I say, you telling me I cannot talk about my other job. I say, do you not hear what they being up talking about? She, I, I address all the girls individually. I said, I cannot tell because, and I didn't say this to her, but uh, y'all, Lemon was talking about basically cheating on her boyfriend. That she finna go get her hair done. What, what, whatever nigga he is. I don't know who the nigga was, but basically she was talking about when she see this nigga, I mean, this, this ninja, that she finna have her thing all in his face. It's gonna be whop all in his face. She literally was talking about getting her cat ate. For the, for the past two days straight, right? So I said, you talking to me, but do you hear what they end up talking about right now? Okay, cool, whatever. So I leave it at that, right? I leave it at that. I go off a little bit. I leave it at that. Mind you, this happens on a Thursday. So I said, okay, so give you a heads up. No, 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 no. And then this is why the bitch had brought up my other job, which I don't have another job, but I'll be working on X to make extra money. So, um, she asked me, could I come? So she asked me, could I work that Friday? Which was, would have been the next day. And I saw her, she asked me this early in the morning. And I saw her, no, I said, when I asked you, could I work Friday early this week? You didn't give me a straight answer. So I picked up me a ship on that. So after, you know, she write me up or whatever. I said, okay, so giving you a heads up. I'm not, I, uh, I'm going to be late on, I'm going to be late on Tuesdays. And you already know I wasn't coming in Monday. She, I didn't know you were coming in Monday. As I told you today, you came back from your wedding. You, I wasn't coming in. So she said, okay, moving forward, just write all of your stuff down, moving forward. And then she said, and, and then you do realize that this is three consecutive days that you're not coming. So that's another conversation we have to have. I said, first of all, how is it three consecutive days? I don't work Fridays. She, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're right, you're right. I said, second of all, I'm coming Tuesday, I'm just going to be late. And I said, and is it now a rule that we cannot request off multiple days in a row? She, that's if we have enough staff to cover it. Imagine this bitch was just gone two weeks, right? 
I just said, okay, cool. So I don't come in Monday. Tuesday, the bitch gets a set manager. I wrote on the paper I was working 12 5 on Tuesday. The bitch gets a set to me at 10 30, asking me what time I'm coming in. The bitch gets a call me about 10 35, asking what time I'm coming in. I said, actually, I'll be there in like 20 minutes, but I did write on the paper. I started work today at 12 o'clock, right? So, okay, cool. So that was on Tuesday. Um, Wednesday, I had to be at work at 9 o'clock, right? Before I even tell y'all about the shit that went down, the reason I'm making this video, also that same day, she wanted me to stay past my time. She went down and wanted me to stay past my time to go drop something off in an event. And I said, I can do it, but I have to drop it off at like 450, 455, 445, 450, because I have to leave at my exact time. She will, I prefer for you to do it after five o'clock. I say, I cannot stay past my time. So the bitch had an attitude about that. Mind y'all strawberry time is 9 to five thirty. so you mad at me when you have somebody on the fucking schedule who's supposed to stay to five thirty anyway but strawberry do what the fuck she wants strawberry so they ass i'll do it but i'm leaving at five i'm not staying past five keep that in the back of your mouth my schedule's nine to five so because the bitch already told me i only had two more times to be late i was lisa trying to i was trying to hold on to my job until the end of the year right so I got up. I had set my alarm clock for like four in the morning. Somebody probably now this is when shit for to get spicy. Somebody probably gonna be like, "Bitch, is it cracked? Like, why would you set your alarm clock that early?" But I did it because I can give me a cheap Uber around that price. Me you know, around that time, I give me cheapest Uber. So I set my alarm clock for like four o'clock in the morning. Get up. I left out the house like six o'clock in the morning. Right. I make it to work at like six. It's like six forty, something like that. So, mind you, as I'm coming in, I come in on the elevator with Diamond and Diamond Manager Thomas. So, they say, what you doing here so early? So, I say, oh, I ain't trying to be late. No, I ain't trying to be fired. So, I came early. So, we go upstairs. Um, they sitting outside in the hallway. I'm warming, I'm warming up my food. Thomas tell me to eat, like, towards the back. He said, now, mind you, ain't nobody there but, that, but Lemon. Ain't even no customers there yet, but, it's Lemon and the other girl I saw y'all be seeing on Facebook. They getting ready so we can, you know, start the day. They really, really opened up. We really started serving people like 8 o'clock, but they just prepping. Ain't nobody else there. But he said, just eat in the back so you don't, you know, since you ain't on, on the clock yet. Okay, cool, no problem. So I eat my food in the back. Now, y'all probably think, um, y'all probably finna think I, um, I was, oh, 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 let me keep it a buck. Let me go back. Um, So when I woke up that day, I did make me a drink. Well, let me actually take it back, back a little bit further. So the night before, so this happened on Wednesday. So that, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, Thursday. Yeah, this happened on a Wednesday. So that Tuesday before I went to bed, I made me a drink, right? And I guess I didn't finish the drink. I woke up that morning, that Wednesday morning, and I still had my drink on the side of bed. So I finished that drink. I did finish that drink. And then I had made me a drink and took it to work with me, right? I drank it before I got to work. So, um, yeah. So, I'm eating my soup. And then when I'm done eating my soup, I'm trying to lay down on the desk for a little bit because I still have hours since I even start. But it was uncomfortable. So, I took my, my jacket and I laid it on the floor and I laid on top of my jacket. And I was just laying down getting some rest, right? So, Diamond comes and she's like, Nikki, you can't do that. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, can I sit down on the chair? She's like, my head on. She, yeah, but you can't lay on the floor. I'm like, you're right. You're right. So I'm like, don't judge me, judge y'all. Mama blame that liquor and y'all. I really was tired. But yeah, in my right mind, why the fuck my laying on the floor? Laying on the floor. I mean, I'm laying on the desk. And then uh, Diamond and Thomas come to me, y'all. And this is when the shit got real. They came to me. Mind y'all, when I had to work that Tuesday, um, Lemon had requested I was two straight days in a row. And then when I was talking to Strawberry about it, Strawberry is so fucking real and straightforward. She say, what she say, what the fuck she means since when we can't request our days, consecutive days in a row. And you ain't even, you ain't even requesting our consecutive days. She said, what you do, you take a picture of this motherfucking calendar and it shows how when part-timer had just started and that bitch was already requesting off weeks at a time. So I took a picture, she said, you take a picture, that's your proof. So, um, yeah, so... Thomas and Diamond come to me, and they say, Nakia, you have to leave the premises. You have to leave the premises until your shift start. I say, huh? They say, you have to leave until your shift start. You can't sit right here. I say, since when? 
I said, show me in the employee guide handbook where it says you cannot come to work early. Mind you, when I first started, I did used to come to work early out of time. Now, it used to be like an hour early, but I used to just sit there with never a problem. So, yeah, um, yeah. So, I guess Thomas, for some reason, I don't know if they just wanted to have privacy in the back. And that was cool. All they could have said told me was go to the break room upstairs, on, on downstairs, whatever it was. So, they had me fucked up in the process. So, um, they telling me, um, no, so Thomas said, you have to leave and come back. I say, so when, um, no, show me in the handbook what's that? I can't come to work early. And he said, well, so when you leave and when you come back, we'll try, we'll try to, um, have something showing that. I said, no, if it's really against the rules, like you're saying, you're going to show me in the book that it's against the rules. So Thomas say, stop raising your voice. I said, I'm not raising my voice. So he said, you are raising your voice. I said, okay, let me tone it down a little bit for you. I say, I want to see in the book where it's illegal, why I can't come to work early, right? So, um, all I remember is we going off, we going off, we going off. Somehow we do end up in the hallway, right? We end up in the hallway and I'm cursing out Thomas. So this is me, Thomas. This is me. Now, Thomas is a tall ass nigga. So we are, we are, and I say, I'm going to say what the fuck I want to say. Who the fuck is y'all? Y'all going to say, I'm like, I'm grown as fuck with kids. I'm going to say what the fuck I want to say. So I'm arguing with Thomas. I say, yo, big tall ass. Y'all, I'm not proud of this shit. I'm not. I'm like, yo, big tall ass, do not scare me. I say, I'll get your ass lit up like Christmas or the 4th of July, which you, however you want to do it. So I'm arguing with them. I'm going off. I'm screaming. I'm like, um, I'm like, this bitch right here, I disappointed to die. I say, this bitch right here, Dami, it's walking up. I said, I think that you let these glasses, you let these glasses think I was a bitch. I think that you saw a bitch with glasses and think you had an easy target. Bitch, I am really with it. We can do whatever you hoes want to do. So I'm arguing, I'm arguing, I'm arguing. So I hop on the table. It's it's like desk in the hallway. I hop on the desk and I walk back towards Thomas. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, the fuck I said, now I'm on your level. So I'm arguing with Thomas, I'm arguing with Thomas. So I hop off the desk and I say, I'm back to this bitch right here. And then I'm walking off, right? So I hop off the desk, whatever, I'm going out the dime. And then I see some lady. I ain't never seen it. Man, I've been working since July. I ain't never seen this lady before in my life. So, her name was Bella. And she like, oh, we can talk. Me and you can talk. She said, I'm with HR. Me and you can talk. What's going on? So, first, Bella's being nice. And I'm thinking Bella's really trying to listen to me. And Bella's also there with her friend Jennifer. I don't know if Jennifer was also HR, but they introduced themselves as Bella and Jennifer. So, um, they introduced themselves as Bella and Jennifer. So we're walking towards the elevator and um this bitch, I don't know what this bitch damn it was. We walking towards the elevator and um I don't know what Bella said to me, y'all. I don't remember what she said to me, but she said something and I cussed Bella the fuck. I said, bitch, you you triggering my motherfucking bipolar. I said, bitch, you don't know me. You don't know me. You don't who the fuck is you to say whatever she said. I don't remember what the lady said to me, y'all. She said something, I'm cussing this bitch out. And she like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So as I'm walking towards the elevator, I hear Lemon. And I hear Lemon ask my other co-worker, who I said I be seen on Facebook, I heard her say something like, do she get all her stuff? And I said, what? what am I, what you say? So I go back over there where Lemon is. So people are trying to grab me. And y'all, I literally hopped over the, I hopped over the counter to get to Lemon. I hopped over the counter. To get to Lemon. I say, I don't have no fucking problem with you, Lemon. Like, I don't have no issue with you. So, Lemon like, no, they're going to call the police on you. They're going to call the police on you. So, we on the elevator. I'm on the elevator. I don't even remember being on the elevator at this point with Diamond and Thomas. Thomas probably was in the elevator. And I just don't remember. But I definitely don't remember being on the elevator with Thomas. I remember being on the elevator with Jennifer. Uh, what's the, the late HR lady name I cussed out? I just remember us two being on the elevator, but Thomas probably was there. I just really probably don't remember. So I'm going the fuck off, y'all. I'm going off. I'm going off. And because I'm going off, as I'm getting off the elevator, all the security coming to me. So I said to him, I said, don't nobody touch me. I'm going to leave on my own. Don't nobody touch me. Or we all going to fight. We all going to fight. So it's like most of the security understood the sign, like, don't touch this bitch. But it's like the old, like elderly security. Like, they were still walking up on me, and I said, Grandma, please don't touch me. I hate, 
Grandma, I hate to have to whoop your ass away than your grandkids. Please don't touch me, Grandma. Please don't touch me. It was two of them. So I'm still going to fuck off. I'm like, hi, hey, bitch. How the fuck you get married to a nick and you still gotta go 50 50 on your motherfucking ring? You still like I'm just I'm just going off, right? Just going off. So eventually I walk out the building and I see the police. I see the police pull up. So I'm on FaceTime with my sister. So I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking. And all I hear the police say, stop. So I look back, y'all, the police is fucking surrounding me. They got police surrounding me. So the police is like, what's going on? And I'm trying to explain the story. And um, they like, um, ma'am, they like, ma'am, I can smell. They's like, what's your name? I said, Nakia, Nakia. They said, I can smell the alcohol on you. And I think that bitch was lying because all I had was one cup. I mean, really had two cups, but bitch, I ain't smelling, smelling no alcohol, ho. I mean, my behavior was really alcoholic, irrational, but aggressive, but I didn't smell like no liquor. So she said, where you finna go? So I finna just go home. She ain't finna go home. I'm like, I'm finna stop on this bus right here, this bus right here. She said, okay, they just leave. They don't want you to come back. I said, okay, no problem. I said, you want the badge? She said, no, just, you don't get, just go. Just leave. She said, stop moving. I guess I was moving, shaking, and realized she said, just leave. Yeah, I don't even remember how I crossed the street to get. I don't even remember crossing the street. All I remember is I, I somehow got on the, the bus and I was I was on my way home. So as I'm on the bus, I get a call from Thomas. So I'm like, what you want? So he said, I'm like, I'm fired. It's okay. He said, I didn't say you're fired, but you are suspended. I said, I'm fired. It's okay. Just send me paperwork. He said, we well, have to do an investigation. I said, you're fired, but you are suspended. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Um... I get home, mind y'all, something I left off. Before I even went to work that day, y'all, I was drunk as fuck on Snapchat. And I, I know lie, I had like probably like 13 people respond to my snaps like, Nakia, your ass is drunk. You is funny. You is wild. And, and I didn't even realize that I was posting that type of shit. I, I realized it, but I don't think I realized I was drunk at the moment. Um, so when I said I come home, y'all, it took me like seven hours after I came home to finally like feel better. After finally throwing up and, and eating, getting food in my system, I finally felt better. And then later on that day, I ended up texting um Lemon, and I said I'm sorry, I wasn't, which I don't have nothing against Lemon, right? And even though I wasn't trying to fight Lemon because I was in whatever state of mind I was, I probably would have fought Lemon if. I wasn't trying to fight Lemon, but because I was just all over the place, I really probably would have fought Lemon. But I apologize. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I was just trying to say, like, I don't have nothing against you. And I'm sorry. Like, I know I came with you aggressive. That wasn't my intentions. Of course, Lemon didn't text me back. But um, basically, I lost my job because I went to work a drunk bitch. Man, I go to work. I have a little drink before work all the time. But I think it was already built up issues there because this week, I felt like Diamond was picking. And I felt like, bitch, you want to pick with me when these hoes actually do shit to you and I don't do nothing to you. Mind you, they saying I can't come to work early, leave the premises, but Lemon literally be, brought her fucking daughter to work who's not an employee, who's a fucking minor. Make it make sense. You was picking with me. That's, I was, the liquor definitely, the liquor definitely turned me up a little bit more, but everybody who know me in real life when i tell the story they're like nah it ain't like you need to lick your courage you you dramatic you was gonna act like that regardless which and i'm not saying it's okay i was gonna turn up regardless but that liquor did give me an extra boost bitch i was wild i was wild i never have acted like this before at work i i just turned up on some bitches but never to this extent i was trying to fight everybody everybody so oh man y'all when i came back to work that monday i apologized for diamond I said at the end of the day, I don't want to be like them. If you told me not to do something, I should have just not did, did it. They give you enough hard time. I love and respect you. I don't want to give you that hard time. I genuinely meant that. So I didn't want any of this to happen. I think either way it went, I would have went off because I ain't no hoe. And I really feel like that's what they had me fucked up. I feel like they thought they had an easy target, but I'm not a bitch. And I think not even just them. I feel like in life, people look at me be like, oh, she wear glasses. Oh, she looks so sweet and so quiet. And they don't know. And that's not even no brag. I'm really with it. We really can do it however you want to do it. I'm not a hoe. I I'm not a hoe. I'm just not a bitch. We can do, we can do it however you want to do it. And I think a lot of people be having me fucked up. I'm really with it. And I just think they didn't expect me to react like that. I did not expect myself to react like that. But 
Um, I know I can no longer drink or or I have to limit my drinking. It will be a while before I drink again. If I drink, I just want wine. I have to leave that hard liquor alone. Um, to be honest, the story is over pretty much. Like, it's pretty much over, but I have to make better choices. I'm getting too old for this type of shit. Now, liquor has really just been my, out, my outlet lately because this year has been like one of the hardest years of my life. I've never drunk as much as I have drunk this year. Never. I used to go months without drinking. And lately, I be have I be at the liquor store like every other day. I'm not going to lie. And I never get like this. The last time I remember myself being, being this aggressive and trying to fight everybody is when my friends have on that. And, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um... I believe I'm fired. I'm not mad if I'm fired because I ain't going to ask them to come back. And if they ask me to come back, of course, I'll come back because who don't need their money? But I doubt it. I fucking doubt it, child. But I'll come back if they ask me. But, um, yeah, it was already built up issue pressure there from this week. And that liquor just turned me up a little bit more. But my friends, they's like, yo, this is already dramatic. You was going to do that shit either way or when. You didn't need no liquor courage. And I don't because I ain't no bitch. But the liquor did boost me up a little bit more. So... Just me being an adult, I have to work on certain shit. So, I love y'all. I just thought that story was crazy. And, yeah, um, I got a family, a hobby or something. Because uh, unless it's wine, I don't need that shit. I don't. 